was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's me. And she said, you look so much older in person. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode at my YouTube channel. As you can see, I'm not alone in my kitchen today. I've got a very special guest standing right next to me. Yay. This is Matthias Kristiansson, who I would say is the Swedish vegan answer to Jamie Oliver. Yeah, that yeah. sounds great. Are you happy with that presentation? <laughs> so, Matthias. He is a cookbook writer, he is a TV chef, he's also running the first and only vegan magazine in Sweden, which is so cool. Matthias is here in my kitchen and he is going to make some food. I asked Matthias if he could uh, make um, something that is like quick and easy, mm -hmm. but that you could uh, serve when the mother-in-law is coming to visit. When you want it to be a bit <laughs> like uh, impressive, but yeah. still like easy to make. Mm -hmm. So what are we making? We're making like my version of quesadillas Yeah That are called bean dias Because it's instead of cheese it's a lot of beans instead And it's chipotle and it's garlic and yeah And guacamole so it sounds, everyone's happy It yeah. sounds so nice And actually last night when uh, I told Howard what Matthias was going to make today That Howard is my uh, partner He actually uh, felt like calling in sick <laughs> He wanted to also try this food, so uh, yeah, pretty great. Is, is this the latest one? This is the latest one. This is the like the, a vegan food bible. It's 700 recipes. Wow. Uh, yeah. Can you see how big this book is? And it's all vegan. Well, I don't need to like uh, publish any more books, but I, I no, will. <laughs> but, yeah, but this is like this is like the bible. I feel yeah. like it's it's the same size as well as the bible. So yeah. It's like vegan barbecue. It, yeah. This is like. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah. I've published nine cookbooks, and wow. number ten will come this. Yeah, I was gonna far. ask. Nice, and I actually have. Guys, I have to show you. So you guys that are following my channel, you've actually seen Matthias books before. Because I've got one right here. This is my one. And I love it so much. And I even have like, I think this is my favorite recipe here. Uh -huh. oh, oh my no. god. No, this is, this is one that I wanted to make actually. This is the vegan uh, magazine. And it comes out, how often? Seven, seven times a year. Yeah. Uh, and we celebrated five years. This yeah, I know, that's, that's so great. So he's like driving it all by himself with uh, his partner pretty much. It's so great. Look at this cake. Is that, I mean, was that for the five year yeah. anniversary? <gasps> wow, I have to try and make that cake. I mean, it's amazing. It's it's a banana banana cake yeah. and a caramel frosting and coconut dulce de leche kind of. Yeah, wow. Uh, let's uh, get over to make the food. Mm? Okay, so instead of the cheese, we have white beans. Nice. Uh, and we're gonna uh, use like a hand mixer and just mash them. You can use a fork too. Yeah. Uh, and we're gonna uh, flavor it with chipotle paste, which is kind of it's not too hot it's and a little bit smoky. And that's the and some garlic. So yeah. chipotle, garlic, and the white beans. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Yes. Guys, this is, smells so good. It is literally like white beans and uh, this chipotle paste and the garlic. If this was smelling TV, you would feel what I'm feeling right now. It's so simple. This is gonna be great. So now we are chopping some... We're chopping... Uh, pepper? Uh, yeah, red pepper. Right? Oh, this two and... This one. Oh yeah, and we're gonna put in some uh, black beans too. Oh nice. So and if you don't like beans. whole beans, well, don't don't use some. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Simple as that. Let's uh, change side again. Mm. What is up next? We're just gonna mix it all together in, the, uh, in tortillas. Or yeah, no, we're gonna mix it and then gonna uh, fill the like the tortilla breads and okay, then just so fry it. 
So we mix uh, the veggies together with the bean. Ah, exactly. I see. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. Yeah. yeah. Now we are making a guacamole, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And for guacamole, you need avocados. Avocados. I have lime. Yeah. And red onion, chili. Okay, I'll help you with the avocados, ah. but I need a knife. But good luck. They're like hard, hard like rocks. It's no, this one I think is good. See? This one is. Yeah. Good. yeah. Oh. How long have you been eating vegan? Um, seven Matthias. years. Went vegan in two thousand. 2012. Yeah. One year later, I wrote my Sorry. first cookbook, and then it, I mean, yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Nine cookbooks, mm -hmm. a vegan magazine, um, what se next? several <laughs> TV shows that you've been <laughs> part of. Mm -hmm. um, amazing. Mm -hmm. and it, but you didn't work as a chef before. No, never. I, I'm like. Did I moved to Stockholm to uh, study graphic design. Oh really? Yeah, uh, and like, but I, it wasn't my thing. <laughs> so I worked like uh, as a barista for like five years and hated it. I was like the most rude barista in all, all of Stockholm. <laughs> People came to the coffee shop where I worked just to be like offended by me. Oh I, my god! Then I went vegan and I'm like the and sweetest I, guy no, ever. No, you're the nicest <laughs> person ever. See what vegan food does mm -hmm. to people? <laughs> Everybody should eat vegan. <laughs> what is the reason that you're eating vegan? But now it's everything. I mean, I, I couldn't care less about animals before <gasps> I became vegan. And oh, now okay. that's like the main thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, and my way, I mean, I started with like caring about, about the environment. Mm. Um, and then it just all came together. Yeah. I mean, I don't really care about my health because I'm not that old. Uh, but I mean, it's like a bonus, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. You will stay young if you eat vegan. <laughs> Avocados here. I don't really like to. I sometimes I mash them with a fork, yeah. but I, I like them like chunky. Too, did you see my technique that I did? No. You didn't see oh, it. Oh, you, you did that. I, I chop uh, my avocados, I just uh, chopped in the shell and then I just uh, squeeze oh, yeah. them in like this. Well, my first advice is to either go out to a great restaurant with vegan food or yeah. just uh, ask a friend to cook for you because then you don't have to, I mean, cook, the, cook it by yourself, you don't yeah. have to look up recipes and stuff like that. Uh, and the next step is to make really easy food. food. Yeah. I mean, and you can take like your favorite recipes and just veganize them or just find easy, easy recipes too. Yeah. Uh, because people like to make it complicated and that's, that's great for a Monday, but then yeah. it's Tuesday and you like, yeah. want to kill yourself. And of course, get all Matthias cookbooks. <laughs> exactly. What are mm. you doing now? We just, we, we're gonna fill this, well, stuff this. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're gonna take the, the, the filling, or I don't know what you call it. Uh, the vegetables and the white yeah. bean mix. Spread it on the uh, tortilla bread. <laughs> Regular white flour tortillas. Wow, this is so nice! Look at this, guys! <laughs> and the guacamole is like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, sh I cannot drop this on the floor now. <laughs> wow, so nice! And it was, uh, it, it literally took like so little time to make like this as well. Like 10 minutes. And it's so yeah. cheap. I mean, beans don't cost a thing. And you can put like, 
all kinds of veg veggies in. I mean, yeah. So if uh, if you're on a budget, I mean peppers they're not that expensive, but you could maybe just use uh, like uh, onions and uh, and potatoes. And, yeah. And I mean. So take so take any veggies that you have at home basically, exactly. and yeah. uh, just uh, the bean paste and it looks so good as well you would easily impress like <laughs> anyone with this it's so gorgeous and of course if you don't like coriander you can just use yeah. some other spice if mm. you don't if that's not your thing mm -hmm. okay so shall we try it yeah we yeah okay and it's it looks so gorgeous all the colors as well seriously this is so good yeah no <laughs> i am a genius mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, honestly, this is like I don't miss any anything in this. Nothing no. at all. And you, I mean, you can't. I mean, maybe you can guess that that's beans, but you don't care because no, it's just I like mean, it's creamy and it's crunchy and it, everything. I mean, there is there is no way I'm missing like cheese or anything like that. Mm. Absolutely not. No. It, all the flavors are like perfection. It's the chipotle as well, it's perfect. Yeah, it's okay. And the avocados as well, of course. Mm. Guys, I really strongly recommend that you guys try this out next time your mother-in-law comes to visit or anyone, really <laughs> anyone. Just make it for yourself. Like, this is the perfect substitute for like a taco Friday, mm -hmm. which is a big thing in Sweden. Or when you're hungover. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, and uh, this will cure any hangover, I'm sure. <laughs> well guys, thank you so much for watching this video uh, and try this at home. Check out Matthias cookbooks as well. He is super awesome and he's so much fun as well. <laughs> guys, if you like this video and you want to see more stuff like it, make sure you hit the like button and that you subscribe to my channel. Also ring the notification bell so you don't miss when I post my next video. Until I see you again, have a good one. Bye guys! I'm gonna eat more of this now. <laughs>